everybody, what's up? I'm Ken and welcome back to another episode of The Lazy Gourmet. Today I want to show you real quick how I make my ultimate and amazing chicken stock. Very easy to prepare. It's only a couple of steps, but it's going to make all the difference in your meals and how they come out actually with that extra depth of flavor. This is a really simple recipe that works for me and it's the ultimate in terms of flavor balance. And the only rule you have to remember is a rule of twos. Two of everything. The first part is we're gonna roast off our veggies and our chicken drumsticks for about half an hour at 450 degrees, which I've already preheated my oven for. And what I'm gonna do as well after that, once they're done, is then boil them down into our stock. Make life easier on yourself. Don't torture yourself with major cleanups. Put a little parchment paper underneath and you're gonna be laughing. So, to get us going, what I'm gonna do is just lop off the ends of my carrots. And for this, I'm just gonna chop them up into little pieces. Nothing complicated at all. And throw those in. And when you're doing this, you don't have to peel them. It's all gonna get used for flavor anyway, and that's it. Same with our celery. Goes down into just pieces, just like that. Lose the, the bottom part. This is really not useful for anything. So put that in there as well. The bay leaf, I'm actually gonna use afterwards when it comes to the boiling, but for our garlic, I'm just going to use two cloves, chop them off at the end, crush them down so we can remove the skins. Not that it really matters, I'm just fickle like that. So throw that in there, and there's the other one. Same with your onions. All you really want to do is just quarter your onions, and again, skins and all really doesn't matter. And the star of the show are chicken drumsticks. Take those and just throw them in there, like that. All right, so basically these will go into our 450 degree oven for about half an hour. And once they come out, we'll put our stock together and get it off to a boil. All right, so our chicken and roasted veggies are done now. They've been in our oven for about half an hour so the next part of this is and you should smell my kitchen by the way it's absolutely unbelievable in here this is that extra layer of flavor that i was telling you about earlier by roasting these veggies and the chicken off before you put them in your stock pot makes a really big difference in terms of the depth of flavor you're going to experience start dumping everything into our stock pot as carefully as you can because this is hot as sin right now so you don't want to be messing around and burning yourself so all this stuff just goes in just like that our veggies and everything perfect and my little tip about the parchment paper it's all nice and handled there's nothing sticking on the bottom or anything like that the next thing to go in in terms of our rule of twos are Two bay leaves, just go in like that. Two teaspoons of dried oregano. So what I do here is I put two tablespoons approximately of peppercorns. The last step in this is our water. This is Tibetan mountain spring water. It's the only thing that will work. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. that's not true actually, it's bullshit. I don't even know how I come up with these things. This is just regular tap water. So two liters goes in to our pot and that's it. What's left now is we just take this, put it on a high burner, bring it up to a boil. And once this starts boiling, we cover it, reduce the heat to like a simmer or like a really light rolling boil and let it go for two hours. And after that, you're gonna have the most amazing 
chicken stock that's fresh, super delicious, super wholesome because you know exactly what's going into it and there's no additives, preservatives. And the one thing I want to stress with you now, in case you haven't noticed throughout this whole kind of process, I didn't add any salt at all. And the reason I did that is I find that this stock will be used as a base for soups, for sauces, for that type of uh, cooking where you're going to be adding salt already. All right, so now our stock is done basically. It's been about two and a half hours. So what I'm going to do now is very simply open these up here just like that and keep them close so you can fill them up. And you may, if you're doing anything at all when it comes to canning or preserving or using any kind of mason jars, you may want to invest in one of these. This is like a canning funnel. Amazing. That's one jar. And now I'm going on to filling the second jar. And there you have it. This is my homemade, scratch-made chicken broth. So until next time, I thank you very much for watching this video, taking the time to check it out and see how our own delicious chicken stock can be made. Please subscribe, hit the like button. It's very important that we all get back to grassroots cooking. It's really convenient to go buy store-bought chicken stock, organic, this and that, but there is nothing that says homemade like homemade. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. I'm Ken, aka The Lazy Gourmet. Bye for now.